So with this Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video, I will show you the location of all four maps you can go and pick up, which uncover the full details of the Shadow Realm within this DLC. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so besides the first map's location, the others are a little more difficult to navigate to. But hopefully with this guide, I will get you unlocking your map to the fullest. Okay, so the first map can be found right next to the gravesite playing Grace. So follow this path if you haven't already uncovered it. Okay, so we'll now move on to the north uh, part of the map, which is just after you take out Relena. The grace there is called the Ensis Moon Gazing Grounds. If you come north from here, as I do on the screen now, you'll unveil this map. Okay, so we'll now move on to the bottom right of the map. This map is found within the Cerulean Coast. But for players who don't know where or how to get here, follow the path I take on screen now from the Castle Front Grace. All graces are along the way to the Cerulean Coast will be time stamped down below for players who may have already unlocked some of these graces, saving yourself some time in tracking this map down.
Okay, so the top left of the map is the one that eluded me for quite a while. But starting from the high road cross grace, although you'd think we have to travel left from here, initially guys we have to go right first and make our way around. So follow the path I take on screen now. Okay, so lastly guys, we have the abysmal woods uh, map and the surrounding area to uncover. So along the way to unlocking this grace, you will, if you haven't already, you have to take out a boss called Yuri the Elder Inquisitor, who is found at the bottom of the dark light catacombs. Now it is a hefty track, but I have recorded this route from an older video guide, which I'll play to you guys on the screen now, it shows you the exact route and I also guide you through the catacombs too. And I again will timestamp every single grace we go past within the video description. So, okay, let's go. So from the golden hippopotamus grace point, which is the main gate plaza, let's lead the way. And as usual, guys, if you've unlocked any of the uh, the graces I've already mentioned, I'll put timestamps down below to where you need to go from said grace so you can skip all this part. If it's a waste of your time. So you're just gonna come this way guys, run past all these enemies and keep coming. Watch this guy kicking out there. Oh, and don't get jacked with your backside like that. There's a few enemies here that do kick quite hard along the way as well. 
which you're going to have to try and dodge. The catacombs itself is pretty... Oh my days, I'm getting better by everything here. Nah lad, you ain't, you ain't that quick. Nah, put that ball down. Woo, put that ball down. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to come forward here. And this is where the first secret path uh, comes to. There's an invisible wall that you actually have to hit to, to lead the way. Get out. Oh my, I, I, don't, I can't get past a single enemy without being hit. What the hell's in my arm? <laughs> what the heck is in my arm? Oh, I haven't picked that up yet. Come to that leaf. And now guys, you want to come down these ladders right here. So scale down these, descend down them, just like so. Wow. And then guys, you want to run into this waterfall. Yes, a secret little path. Come down these ladders right here. What the? That man was after me. Okay, so now guys, we're down here. So. Right here guys, this wall will be locked off, you need to hit it, just hit the wall and it will, well, disappear. You can walk through it. And then guys, you end up right here. Now come down this way. And then, jump in the coffin. Jumping in this coffin teleports us to where we want to want to go. So I'm going to skip this because I've seen it a hundred times, but yeah. So guys, you end up right here. Which is right before the castle watering hole so that's one hidden path out of the way i'm just going to activate that grace because we need to replen all that health okay so from here guys you want to jump on your mount and come this way so make you end there's also a fire uh, golem here who's going to get up out of the water now he more or less one bombs you he one bombed me yesterday about three times in a row so the do I take is just run straight down this way. Run towards that pillar there on your left and run towards those trees then in front of you. It normally does this attack that goes down to the right so it completely misses you. So if you run across to the right hand side nine times out of ten it's going to get you. So it seems as though now he isn't going to attack. Oh no he is going to attack. There we go. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> absolutely brutal. You have to be careful of that attack because like I said it absolutely destroys you. So now guys we are at the Reclusive River Upstream Grace. Come this way. Come this way, people. Come this way. There's a few things you have to jump off, so be very, very careful of them. You don't want to be falling down here, people. You definitely don't. Okay, so now we're going to jump across here, just like that ghost did right there. That wasn't a grace, then, was it? It looked like a grace, then, it wasn't. It was something I just missed. Something I just missed. So come this way, ignore these flying critter things that are annoying as heck and suck the juice out of your body. Jeez! I keep coming this way. Just run past all of these. And now we have to scale down here. Just like so. And I'm going to jump off my horse just to replen because these guys are probably going to be chasing me down. Yes, they were. Okay, so now we are at the. Uh, the Reclusive River downstream. So where you want to go from here, guys, is down there. So jump back on your horse. Now this is where you have to be careful. So just walk off. Don't be doing no double jumps. Just follow exactly what I do. Just walk. Don't run. Just walk. No double jumps. No need for that to make it difficult for yourself. Just turn around slowly. Okay, double jump there if, if you make a mistake. <laughs> if you make a mistake, at least you got your double jump, people. At least you got your double jump, people. Okay, so now we are basically at where we need to go. So now we're going to run over to here. So we're running southeast. And now we're going to have to jump down yet again. I haven't even explored, explored down this area yet. I just fell off the wall. I just fell down the waterfall. I just fell down a waterfall, people. Okay, so don't go towards that waterfall, people, because it leads to death, as you just noticed. Okay, so I don't even know if I've got runes there, to be honest. Let's grab them. Jump this way, and you want to come down here. This is where you want to be at, people. You want to scale down yet again. So this one's a little bit more difficult, but again, just walk off, be slow. Don't 
don't press that sprint button because things will probably end bad for you and you'll get yourself in a little pickle which won't be very fun again very slow now I'm just gonna put on my torch so we can see where we are at now guys just follow the cliff I keep it on your left and you'll see two little candles and that's where you want to go jump into here now where we're at now guys is I think I'm in combat so I won't really pull up my uh, my map but yeah there we go right there we're now in the dark light catacombs now I have to call the lift because I've been here already and it comes from quite far down by the looks of it there it is it's right here now this is quite the catacombs to run through now it's not difficult so to speak I mean I guess that maybe a couple of enemies you may want to take out where's my rivers of blood because there may be one or two little sneaky bastards okay so here's the grace which you want to activate like I said that one right there I know you want to come this way did I put my torch on there we go now it's very dark in here so take a right here guys I think I can actually run past all these enemies to be honest then I left And then you want to come this way keep to the right here now, as soon as you go to this door guys it's going to be a guy with a cannon on his face dodge straight away there you go and keep dodging just dodge past him dodge there there you go now here guys this is actually there's an enemy you want to take out so go down these ladders scale down them and i see these enemies are going to chase me and come this way i think these ones you can just dodge down turn right and stick to the right here and there's going to be an enemy that pops out you want this guy here kill him straight away he hits so jeez hard it's unbelievable so take him out and then just progress on and then guys you should be good to just keep going down there's a few lifts that take you very very deep on the ground here which you're going to take straight away hey that looks like the spear oh, it's nice different it's different let you off lad let you off lad okay so now guys we're going to push on forward again and there's another part here where there's another big old cannon dude who shoots at your ass so from here you want to take a left down these stairs oh she's he was quick come straight down here just like this and then take another left and you want to descend down these ladders i'm not sure you could probably actually make that jump to be honest you could probably make that jump let's try it Oh, I made it. Nice. Okay, so you can make the jump. Now you just want to go down this uh, right here. Into the darkness, people. Now watch this guy here above you. And let's run straight forward. I think you can see them, them attacks absolutely obliterate. So you're going to jump on this lift again. No one follow me. No one's following me. Good. I'm going to scale all the way down again. Quite a far drop, people. In, in, well, how far down under the ground do you go? Okay, so now we're just going to push forward and again this is where that guy with the cannon is so as soon as you hear the attack coming you got to dodge this you got to dodge that if you don't dodge it i think it one bombs you so let's drop down and then guys you want to push up to the platform because from this point you can't actually hit you so from here okay stick to the edge stick to the right and then guys we've got to make our way down here so as soon as you hear that attack coming just be dodging just be dodging out of the way just like so now you want to take a right and you're good now guys we take one more lift down i believe and then we're at i think we know it's at the boss fight and this is joe the elder inquisitor who to be honest i didn't find too hard at all my rivers of blood absolutely melted with my mimic summon what i will say is when you come into this boss fight if you want to drop any summons you want to run to the grave uh, just on your left hand side as soon as you get through the door she bombards you with those attacks so yeah and just, just rush her rush her be on her and just take her out she'll spawn in other enemies too uh, but you gotta do what you gotta do guys so when you actually get here you'll end up at, and you defeat this boss you'll end up at this grace point right here guys which is the forsaken graveyard okay so once you've defeated the boss we then push on to a couple more graces and unlocking the final map at the same time
And there we have it guys. Your Shadow Realm map should be completely detailed so you can see exactly where you want to be going. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.